House passes a bill to combat hate crimes against Asian Americans. Legislation passed in the House to aggressively investigate hate crimes, especially those targeting Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders. Representative Grace Ming, Democrat from New York, sponsor of the bill in the House, spoke about how emotionally and mentally taxing the past year has been for Asian Americans. The Asian American community is exhausted for being forced to endure the rise in bigotry and racist attacks. We almost feel like black people, said Miss Ming. Oh. Sorry, that's not what she said. This is how my black is here, you know? What's going on here? We're getting treated like the blacks. You know, one of the problems I have is not that this legislation will help protect Asian Americans from hate crimes. That's not my problem. My problem is people who have no idea what the hell black people are upset about. So there's two things. I want to educate black people to the fact that, yes, hate crimes have increased. They have steadily been increasing in the Asian community. Reported hate crimes, okay? We think only like 40% of hate crimes, maybe less, even get reported. I want to educate black folks to that point that, yes, this is occurring, and yes, it's a problem. But I want to educate Asian folks and all other folks to the reality that black people do have a reason to be upset about this. Not because Asian Americans are getting assistance, but that the hate crimes have been a problem in the United States for quite some time. There are a lot of hate groups. Every dot you see on this screen is a hate group. An organization that hates people. Okay? Now, you may notice clusters of hate polarized or centralized in certain states. You may notice down in the bottom here, in the right-hand corner, Florida. That's right, Florida has a whole lot of hate groups in Florida. The Carolinas, North and South, Georgia, same thing. Lots of hate groups. Virginia, lots of hate groups. Come back down and circle around a little bit. You'll see uh, Texas, a lot of hate groups. Jump around to the Midwest, Michigan, lots of hate groups. California, lots of hate groups. Jump back, my bad, I forgot. Pennsylvania also has a lot of hate groups. What people fail to realize is there is a lot of hate in the United States. What I think is this. What I believe is most people don't focus on other people's situations. They don't live their experience, so they don't know what they're going through. There's been an increase of hate crimes in the Asian community. To so those people who are wondering, why are black people not cheering for this? Well, first of all, some black people are cheering for this. As there are black people that support ending hate crimes in general. It's not, a, it's not that people are cheering on hate crimes. Okay? It's that... We're wondering, where's the same urgency from the power structure? Our, our tension, our frustration, our bitterness should not be focused on Asian Americans. They don't run the country. They don't run Congress. They don't run the House of Representatives. They don't run any, any of the parties, right? Our focus needs to be aimed at who? At the power structure, at the Democratic leadership, at the Republican leadership. That's where it needs to go. Vice versa, same thing goes for Asian Americans. Or anyone else who suffers a grievance with their country needs to be directed towards their government. And that's where it should be, and that's where it's going. So black and Asian solidarity is a thing, and people are all working towards that. Third thing, I want to point out, so when people say, oh, Tim Black, I don't understand why black people are so supportive, I've already answered that. We are supportive mostly. I'm black and I'm supportive. Don't I count? Okay. Anyway, back to this. One of the reasons why black people are upset about this is if you look at this grid. Now, this is taken from 2019. 1,930 cases of reported hate crimes were against African Americans. How many did we get a specific bill about African Americans? Black hate? I mean, we're, we're what? The Asian number is 158. Now, this is back in 
2019. So, yes, it's a couple years ago, and yes, the spike occurred during coronavirus. But what I'm saying is, look at the look at the difference. It's ten times more black folks getting you know, being victims of hate crimes than Asian folks, and still there was no action at all. No legislation, no, we can't even get a lynching law passed in the United States. Look at anti-Arab. Look at anti-Native American. Even look at Latino. We're still three times more likely than Latinos. Almost four times as likely as Latinos to be attacked racially, Okay? And three times more likely than white folks. Now, so let's just keep it straight. That's a reason, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it be a reason for you if you felt that you are that you are more likely to be a, the the victim of something, but you have other people get the assistance who are now become victims of the same thing? Be like, what's going on? What's the problem? So I hope we see eye to eye on this. We're not here to say, hey, don't protect the Asians. By all means, protect the Asians. But have our backs. Because you haven't. Let me ask you something. Do they know us? When I say they, I mean the talking heads on cable news. Do they know you? I mean, they talk about the world as if it's a sport. They play political games, report on our pain, rack our brain to feed the stock exchange, but do they know us? Do they know what we care about? Nope. They're too far away. They can't see us. They can't feel us. They can't relate to us. See, when you want to know what's going on in your world, trust someone who lives in your world. Subscribe.